for joining us for this episode of Reaching for Research by Students for Students. My name is Lindsay Taha and I'm a current senior here at the University of Arizona studying Neuroscience and Cognitive Science with a double minor in Spanish and Business Administration. I am also a Bio5 Public Affairs student assistant. Today we welcome Will Peterson. Thank you for joining us to share your journey working with our Bio5 ambassadors. Would you tell our audience a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so uh, I'm Will. I'm a senior, a super senior this year uh, here at the U of A. I'm majoring in biology with a biomedical emphasis and minoring in applied biotechnology. Um, I also work in Dr. George Stutfin's lab uh, on the third floor of BSRL studying aging. I work with Kelly Highland in the Keys program for ambassadors and I recently started working at the Tucson Medical Center emergency room as a scribe. That's awesome. You've got a lot um, going on. Sure so do. <laughs> what was your journey through STEM and how did you become a Bio5 ambassador? So I guess my journey kind of started freshman year when I was at University of Wisconsin-Madison actually. Um, and I was undecided uh, as a major. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I took some science classes uh, and then I got cold and hated it <laughs> and did poorly in those classes and transferred to U of A uh, where I started taking you know, more relevant classes and majoring in biology and I actually enjoyed it and started doing well. Um, and then I joined uh, George's lab and that kind of started uh, everything that was snowballed from there. So then I heard about ambassadors through our lab manager, um, applied, and here we are. Here you are. Yeah. Um, definitely. So you mentioned that you work in Dr. George Zepfin's lab. Can you tell us a little bit about that lab and what you specifically work on? Yeah, so George's lab is focused on um, uncovering the molecular mechanisms of aging. Um, so we use C. elegans as a model organism. It's a microscopic one millimeter long worm that we use to model human aging because humans live a long time. You can't really wait 70 years to do all this research, so we use worms that die in three weeks. And they have enough uh, genetic conservation um, similarity to our genome that you can kind of predict some things with pharmaceutical interventions and genetic interventions. Um, so my role has largely been in our high throughput screening robot. Um, our great engineers, uh, Sam Freitas and Vanessa Silbar, have built this giant imaging robot. Um, we named one of them Bertha and the other one Tim. <laughs> um, and I, along with my mentor Emily Turner, uh, keep it loaded. We um, put on roughly two experiments a week in everything from phar pharmaceutical interventions to uh, we're recently working on cholesterol supplementation to extend lifespan. Um, and then aside from that, I also picked up on my mentor Emily's thesis project as a master's student working on osmotic stress uh, in worms. So we are potentially looking at a novel mechanism for cadmium, a heavy metal that's toxic, and the hypertonic stress response in worms, um, and just kind of investigating that. That's awesome. I've gotten to see a lot of Will's lab, <laughs> because as an ambassador, we use him a lot for tours. Yep. Um, so our next question is, what are you working with um, while being an ambassador? So I work with Kelly Highland. Um, she is the program director for KEYS, which is uh, Keep Engaging Youth in Science. It's uh, pretty unique to the U of A. We get um, roughly 50 high school students every summer, and they come to the U of A, and they work with a uh, you know, researcher here at Bio5, and they get to do research, which is really unique for high schoolers. Yeah. Um, it's really an awesome experience. It's, they get treated like undergrads. They basically do everything that I would do in the lab, but as a high schooler. So it's a great way to kind of segue into college and science. Um, my job with them was uh, largely in recruitment. So I would go travel with them to all the high schools and give a little spiel about why they should join <laughs> and what research is and all that. That's awesome. Um, so you mentioned you work with Kelly Highland. She's the director of the Keys program here at Bio5. Um, so what is one of your favorite aspects about getting to go to the high schools or just about, you know, engaging the youth in science? Um, well, I think it's really fun to, to talk about research, my research specifically, to people. Um, and high schoolers can be kind of intimidating because, like, <laughs> half the time they don't care what you're talking about or half of them don't care what you're talking about. But the few that do care, um, it really is fun to talk to them. And, you know, they get really passionate about it and you can see that they're going to end up being like successful scientists. So it's kind of fun to be a part of their journey. 
Um, I think my favorite uh, part of it was when I got to go to my sister's class. She's a high school teacher um, at Sabino <coughs> High School in town, and I got to go give a presentation for Ms. Peterson's class, <laughs> so that was kind of fun. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, do you remember the statistics of the Keys program this year, like how many people applied and how many they accepted? Oh, man. Uh, we had a record number of applications this year. Um, it was closing in on 400, I think. Yeah. I think you're right, too. Um, and then we accepted 50, 50 to 54 students. Um, a few online spots, and then the rest are here um, in the Bio5 campus. Yeah, so that's awesome. So it was a very competitive year, um, and it's awesome that a lot more people are applying. Yeah, definitely, and it was awesome that you got to be a part of it. Um, so outside of your work in STEM, what are your other passions or things in your life that help you get through the week and keep you motivated? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> Well, I've recently picked up film photography. I found my grandpa's old camera in the closet, and I was like, I want to give this a go. So um, I started doing that. I kind of suck at it, but it's like it's still fun to like trial you know, and error. Yeah, trial and error, and it's <laughs> like you know it makes a bunch of fun clicks, and you know you look all artsy and stuff. So. Yeah. Do you bring the film to like uh, someone who else who develops it? Or oh like, yeah. Okay. No, I, I have. I don't even touch it. I okay. give it to someone else, and I. Pay them probably too much money to develop it for me. Yeah, but definitely. It's Developing still fun. film is a is a long process. Mm -hmm. um, okay, our last question is: What is one piece of advice you would give your 16 year old self? And then also, what advice would you give someone who is wanting to become a Bio5 ambassador? Um, my 16 year old self, I would probably say uh, skip. Madison for undergrad and just come right to <laughs> U of A because <laughs> I think I did a lot better here um, and I enjoyed it and there's so many opportunities at the U of A that I didn't even realize even though I grew up here. So that'll probably be my advice to just be a wildcat from the get-go. Um, and then to anyone who wants to be an ambassador, I would say um, get familiar with the researchers here. I think that's a big an important part of it. Although it's you know the intersection of business and science, the whole thing is rooted in the science, yeah. and that's why we're here. So I think it's important to get familiar with the researchers. Uh, don't be afraid to talk to them. Like, if they're your professor, go up and talk to them. That's why <laughs> right. they're here. So I think just get familiar and um, try to appreciate the science here. Nice. All right, I have one last question. Okay. Our actual last question All right. <laughs> is, uh, what are your plans after you graduate? So I will be applying to medical schools um, for the fall 2024 cycle. Um, so right now I am studying for the MCAT and getting those clinical hours, and then I get to go through the grind of applications. <laughs> yes, so. well, good luck. I know you'll do great. <laughs> um, okay. Thank you for listening to this episode of Reaching for Research by Students for Students, and thank you again to our guest, Will. Thank you. Thank you.